Hey, my beautiful Aries. This is Renee. Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for March. So we'll see what the cards want to let us know. Okay, so let's get down into it. Okay, Aries, we have self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay, beautiful. We also have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So that's beautiful energy, Aries. See, so let's get another card. Another card for Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We also have confusion. That may be the reason for this self-esteem card. Um, at the bottom, we have despondence. So there may be something that you need to pursue in order to achieve your happiness, okay? Um, there's something that needs to be done. Let's look more into this for you, Aries. Let's take a look and see what is going on. Let's get these cards into view. Just a moment. I'm sorry, Aries. And my cat keeps wanting to lay on my table when I'm not in here. So it's like heck getting the cat hair off of this cloth. So I apologize. Okay, let's get some cards for Aries. Sun, Moon, and Rising. What messages do we have for Aries Spirit? Give me a message for Aries. What does Aries need to know for their greatest good? Okay, we got the Hierophants. Wow. The Star. The Four of Swords. Hmm. We have the Eight of Wands. The Chariots. And the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, okay. Well, Aries, at the bottom of the deck, your current energy, I feel like you are kind of putting yourself into action in one way or another. Um, I feel like you have a drive to get something done. This could be in your career. This could be in love. This could be, you know, someplace in your life. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like you are in pursuit. I want to say in pursuit of your happiness. That may be why we have the happiness card here. Okay? Um, so I feel like you... You may be seeking some kind of guidance, Aries, some kind of advice, maybe spiritual advice, maybe something that is boosting your confidence, okay, boosting your healing. I feel like you are going through a time of healing. Um, there may be things in your past that you're trying to work through. Maybe that's why we have that despondence card, um, because I feel like at one point you felt a little stuck. You felt like things weren't moving in your direction. They weren't moving the way you expected it to. But I feel like, you know, you're going through this time of healing and recovering to where things will be moving in a more positive direction. I feel like Spirit is just letting you know to have patience and go through this healing process because I feel like this this healing process that you're going through is much needed. You're, you're actually taking care of yourself going through this process. Okay? Um, you may be seeking some kind of spiritual guidance, um, maybe advice. Um, if this is about work, maybe you are um, getting some advice from some kind of mentor, some kind of person who has a little bit more authority. But I feel like they're helping you, you know, achieve this healing power that you have that is helping you focus more. And I feel like you have a need to focus more 
on you and what is important to you, Aries, because I feel like you, you may not be putting yourself first, okay? So I think Spirit is letting you know it's time to put yourself first. It's time to take care of your needs and, you know, follow your dreams. Go for your aspirations. Um, do that mental work to gain clarity on whatever the situation is. Because I feel like, you know, once you go through this healing and recovery period, things are going to start moving really quickly. Okay? Things are going to be moving very quickly. The Eight of Wands, this is fast energy. This is you taking some sort of fast action towards something, uh, maybe towards your dreams, or maybe you will be traveling in the near future uh, sometime during March. Because, you know, both of these cards are speaking of movement, of moving, of traveling, of going to a better a better position, a better situation. So this, the Eight of Wands, this could also be some kind of communication that you'll be receiving in the month of March that is going to get you moving, that is going to get you to wanting to take more action, wanting to move forward, you know, because I feel like this is good news. It's coming to you. Aries, okay? We also have the the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles, excuse me, the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, this is the card of sharing. This is someone offering you some kind of help, some kind of guidance. Um, this is also someone being generous. Um, but I feel like this, whoever is sharing this, I feel like they're sharing some type of information that you're truly in need of. Okay, they may be boosting your confidence. They may be um, letting you know how good you are. Okay, Aries. Um, but I feel like this is a very helpful person that is in your life. A very helpful person. So that's very beautiful energy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and clarify real quick and see what else Spirit can tell us about this situation. Okay, Spirit, give me a message for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Message for Aries to cl clarify this message. Tell me more about this Hierophant. Tell me more about the Hierophant, please. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Yet someone who is very caring, very nurturing, is coming in to give you some kind of advice. This may be an older woman or um, someone that you're close to, maybe a mother figure um, who's giving you advice on your situation. Okay, and on the star, we have the Knight of Wands. So this healing that you're going through, I feel like this healing is like taking you into some kind of new action. Look how the night is going towards this star. You know, I feel like this is something that you are actively pursuing. You are in great need of some kind of healing and recovery. Some kind of balance needs to be restored in your life. Spirit is letting you know that this is going to come quickly, but you need to focus on yourself. Focus on your recovery. Focus on taking time out. Maybe take a break. Take a couple days off. Take, you know, um, a staycation. You know, take some time out for yourself, Aries. I feel like that's very much needed right now. Okay, tell me more about this Four of Swords, Spirit. Give me a message for the Four of Swords. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. I feel like with this Four of Swords and Seven of Swords, someone's trying to take something away from you. They're trying to take away your precious time. You know, I feel like you're trying to take this time out for yourself, but someone does not want you to have that time away. 
It may be a job that just won't give you time off, or it may be, you know, your responsibilities that are holding you back from taking the precious time that you need during this time. But I feel like there's something that is holding you back from taking time out for yourself. I feel like it's very hard for you to carve out that time to really focus on your needs and wants, okay? But I feel like the Spirit is letting you know that this is very important. You know, you have to focus on yourself and, you know, take that time that you need to restore and rejuvenate your body and soul, okay? Tell me more about this Eight of Wands, Spirit. Hey, we have the Six of Wands. Wow. Whatever communication this is, whatever action this is that's taken, this is bringing you into some kind of successful moment. You're being recognized for something. This is you being rewarded for your efforts that you're putting in. Aries. So I feel like whatever communication is coming through, whatever action you're taking with this Eight of Wands is, you know, having you be recognized. People are seeing you. They're seeing your accomplishments. You are, you know, achieving your goals. Okay. So I, I feel like this Eight of Wands energy, it's very, very positive. Very good news coming in for you because this Six of Wands, this is success. This is achievement, being seen, being recognized, being rewarded for your efforts. Um, he's coming back from battle and they're throwing him a parade for, you know, his efforts, for his, you know, uh, victory. Okay. So somewhere... You have victory, Aries, okay? Tell me more about this chariot card. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like, you know, would, the way that you're moving, the way that you're moving forward, whatever position you're moving into, I feel like you're gaining a lot more confidence. You're gaining a lot more... Um, pride in yourself, you know, you are understanding what's being expected of you and you're like, okay, I got this, I got this, I can do this with my eyes closed, you know, that that's the information that I'm getting. Things are becoming more clear. You're, you're getting the answers that you need to pursue whatever this situation is. You know, you could be actively moving and you are, you know, literally moving to a new place and you're, you're, you finally have a total understanding of, you know, the contracts that need to be signed, the paperwork that you got to fill out, you know, um, but I feel like, you know, you are understanding things a lot more clear, you know, beautiful. Okay. Tell me about the six of pentacles. Okay, we have the Four of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. This is the after tarot. So he's accepted this gift and he's refused it. He's now pouring it out. He's not taking advantage of the opportunity. So it could be someone who's sharing something with you, someone who's offering you some kind of help. You may be turning them down. You may be letting them know, you know, thank you so much for your help. Thank you for offering me this gift. But no, I'm sorry, I can't refuse. I, I can't accept it. Okay, so um, it may be someone trying to offer you some kind of opportunity for pay, some kind of opportunity that you just don't find appealing at this moment. Okay, I get it now. Let's see. Okay. The Spirit just gave me this message. You know, there's someone out here, Aries. There's one of you. Maybe a few of you. Um, take this how it resonates because it's not going to resonate with all of you. Okay. But I feel like, 
Okay, I feel like, you know, you're moving literally to a new place, maybe to a new job. You're trying to figure out what your next move is, and you're getting a better understanding of the situation, of the opportunities that are ahead of you. Okay, you're thinking up a new plan, um, some kind of new focus. And I feel like opportunities are provided to you, but there's going to be some opportunities that you feel like don't fit in your life at the moment. They may be good opportunities, but I feel like there's an opportunity that you are going to turn down because it just doesn't fit. It just doesn't feel right. There's something, you know, maybe it doesn't give you enough income. Maybe it doesn't give you enough money. Maybe, you know, it's an apartment and the apartment just, maybe it's too small or too big. The utilities are too high, you know, but something just don't fit. So you're making the decision to walk away from an opportunity. Okay, so that's very interesting. I'm going to get a little bit more clarity on that. Spirit, give me a little bit more clarity on this opportunity that Aries is turning down or refusing. Let me know what this opportunity is. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, Aries, this is what I believe it is. Okay, someone is offering you something and it could be something that as far as love it could be an offer of love that you're turning down because you know it's going against your tradition it's going against something that you just don't believe in maybe this person is not a perfect fit they're they're just not the one you know all they're the they are offering you this cup and this love, this passion, I feel like you're walking away from this opportunity because it's just not right for you at this time, okay? It, it may fit later or at a different time, but I feel like the timing just isn't right for you. You just feel like, you know, um, maybe in another lifetime, um, this would be right for me, but I've grown too much to accept this love. Um, I've grown too much to accept this kind of person in my life. So I'm sorry, I have to turn this down. I have to let this go because it just doesn't fit in my life at the moment. You know, so very interesting, Aries. Very interesting. Let's get an outcome. Give me an outcome for Aries. Tell me more. Give me an outcome, please. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles again. Wow. The Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Okay. <laughs> you have offers all over the place, Aries. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom. So something that you're, you're not expecting. You are going to get an offer. And I feel like this is an offer for a new job, new opportunity, something that's very valuable. Some kind of opportunity is coming your way in the month of March that may increase your wealth, may increase, you know, your finances. Okay, so be on the lookout for that opportunity in March that you're not expecting. This is coming out of the blue for you, but someone is being very generous and offering you this opportunity. Okay, so Aries, let's see. We have the Six of Pentacles again. So that offer is still standing on the table. Someone isn't taking back that offer. Um, they want you to know that they are here to share something with you. They want to build something with you. They want to build up something. You know, they're not letting down that easy. They're not giving up, okay? They have the nine of wands as well. This is being persistent. This is not, you know, not taking no for an answer. This is, okay, you know, well, maybe... You know, if not today, maybe tomorrow, you know, um, I feel like this is not giving up, not giving up the fight, standing firm and, you know, not backing down. Okay, 
So I feel like, you know, if this is an offer, if this is someone coming into your life, I feel like they're very persistent because they're very interested. Um, you do have wealth coming in for you. So I feel like that's something very interesting to look at. And let's see, let's get an angel card. What do, let's get an angel card for Aries. Okay, we have moonlighting. You can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you, okay? So that's beautiful energy for you. Okay, let's get another card for Aries. Let's get a manifestation modality. Okay, we have talk less and feel more. Okay, so there may be a need for you to, you know, really pay attention to your feelings at this moment, Aries. Really pay attention to the way you feel. You did get the, the Four of Swords over there. So I feel like, you know, you, you do need to pay attention to how you're feeling. And if you have need of recovery, you know, pay attention to how your body responds to certain things because it may be telling you you know, how it responds to things that you need a break, okay? So, beautiful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a angel number and see what we have for you, Aries. Okay, we have 1414. So, 1414 may be very significant for you at this time and its possibilities building strong foundations creates stability and welcomes in possibilities all possibilities exist and are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place okay and your affirmation is i am grateful for all that is and all that will be. I trust in the possibilities what of what I desire and or something greater. I am grateful for all that is and all that will be. I trust in the possibilities of what I desire or something greater. Okay? So, if you accept that angel number, Aries, Write 1414 in the comment section, okay? All right, Aries, this is your reading for March. And uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your Sun, Moon, and Rising. I have uh, your March readings in the March playlist. So uh, feel free to take a look at that. Your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus sign if you are open to love at this time. Okay, so beautiful blessings to you, Aries. Until your next reading. Many blessings, love and light.